All right, everybody, we Idaho Ambassador's now. back, and I'm here with Ashley Yay. from Wana Matcha. And uh, sh shout out to Lost Grove for letting us be here and record, and Argos Productions. Out. Oh, shout out, cheers. Thank you, we love you guys. Mm -hmm. You have to yeah. drink when you cheers, or it's like bad luck yeah. or something, right? <laughs> Uh, but we're here with Ashley, who's one of my favorites. We are known to cause a little bit of trouble together once in a while. And Yo. she is the owner of Wana Matcha. Wana one of matcha. my favorite things on earth, if you follow me on Instagram or anything. Matcha is a, what, a green tea. Yep, it is green tea, ground up. But it's like crack green tea. Mm -hmm. Like the good kind, not mm -hmm. like the illegal kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, so it's fine powder, it is green. It's green. It's green tea that has been shade grown so instead of just growing it like normal they actually grow it in the shade and then they take the leaves grind it into a powder we get it we put it in a water or milk or whatever and then you drink it and there's your crack cocaine so what i love it I love, yeah. it's so good and if you haven't tried it you should try it mm -hmm. i don't drink any coffee so i live for matcha so yeah it's like, it's like I would say the number one alternative. Yeah, to it's the coffee. highest amount of caffeine you can get in a tea, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's phenomenal. Now, how did mm -hmm. you end up selling matcha? So, I mean, that's how we met. Yeah, but that is how we met. That's how we met. I stalked uh, her basically. It was like matcha. <gasps> and then you came to the farmers market. <laughs> and I drove her nuts. It's fine. Yep. Yeah, she does. She drove me nuts. Um, <laughs> but look at look at us now. Look at us now. We've come so far. <laughs> um, we went on a trip to Europe for about seven weeks, and not that Europe is the place to get matcha, I mean, it's everywhere, but that's just where we had discovered it, and we were kind of late in the matcha game. I actually wish that I discovered it a long time ago, and I know so many people that have, Well, I mean, I discovered it. Early yeah, early I know so many people that have like <laughs> had matcha forever, and I'm like, okay, well, my life would have been so much better if I had it. But um, right. we just jumped on the, the the game and getting it, getting into the business side of it really, really fast, which is nice. So we saw it in um, England, actually, not Europe. We saw it in England and came back and I just started drinking it and think about, about doing anything with it. And then I thought, well, I can't get it anywhere. And when I'm in a rush, I want to have it a good, yeah. like a good matcha. Don't buy shitty matcha. It's yeah, really, but I kept getting it really crappy so everywhere. And then and ridiculously expensive. It was super expensive, and I thought, well, what if what if we did this? It's not really nobody has it in Boise, blah blah. blah. Two weeks later, we had a business. So <laughs> where did you get your first rounds of matcha from? Like we who got did you it. Buy that from? It's really embarrassing because we got it online from some Joe Schmo company, and God bless all of our customers who came our first year at the market because. <laughs> We, we definitely have upped our game. That's all I'm gonna say. But um, yeah, we got it from some like fifth party business that is, you know, it's been packaged however many times. And yeah, so basically I mean, it's just like white labeled matcha. Like. White labeled matcha that is like really, really badly discolored. I mean, we didn't know what we were doing. Now, now it's like, Holy. Their stuff is really good. <laughs> Holy cow, now that we know what we're doing, we were like, oh my gosh, we have. We've definitely learned and grown, and <laughs> God bless small businesses, right? Like yes. you just you just learn, yeah. and your customers are like, and you just gotta figure it out as you go. And yeah, you're like you I love you for loving me. Yeah, <laughs> while I make this a shit show. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I yeah. feel like all Austin and I were doing our first year was just like bowing down every customer that came to us, because and that came back. Like the fact that people were coming back, <laughs> we're like, oh my God, like. I messed up your drink last time, but God bless you came back. <laughs> but we love you. We Thank love you. you so much. <laughs> Thank you for believing in our dream. And Austin is your husband. Austin's my husband. And your business partner. And my partner. business partner. Yeah. yeah. And how is that? It's awesome. It's actually, I was really nervous, but it's actually really great. He He's like the numbers, common sense side. And then I'm like the dreamer, the creator, and the crazy side. Yeah. So it I mean, helps I never out. would have guessed that. Right. Well. Right. It's pretty. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> but um, yeah, we we work well together, and um, you know, he's got a full time job, so like, he I'm doing I'm mainly like doing all the stuff, trying to make sure that 
he's not too overwhelmed, but yeah, but he's he's yeah he's good with the numbers and you know he schmoozes well too. So he's he'll good. do he that every good schmoozer. Yeah, he'll do that every once while too. But he's teaching me he's teaching me things. You know, I'm like, well I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean I hope he's got your back. He is. Who, right. You, you yeah. did wife you. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like we separate like our life and business really well and. You know, that was kind of like a conversation we had. Like, well, are we going to separate it or are we not? There's days where we're like, all right, let's not talk about business. It's just like. It's just like <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Me, it's like. Uh, God, it's so hard. It's hard. Wish. It's really hard. But it's like, all right, we got to sit down and, and let's just sit in the hot tub, drink some wine and. And just not talk. About and it. just not talk about it. Even though like we're like scratching our <laughs> necks and like getting really like, oh God, I just want to talk about it. But, you know. It's like anything. What do you think your, like, biggest barrier, barrier to entry was, like, for you guys, like, getting started? Um, getting started, I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know, like, getting, getting started, finances are always hard because you, I don't know, dreamers, I feel like entrepreneurs, we're all dreamers, so mm -hmm. we, like, want everything now, especially our age. Of course we do. We're, like, microwave yeah. children, and we Instant just want everything. Instant gratification. Yeah, we want everything right now as soon as we can have it, and I think for me, personally, that was hard because I'm like, but I want this matcha, I want to be able to have it for the public, and have it, you know, like, have an actual good matcha that's a good price. And we couldn't, we just, we had no money. We had barely enough money to like buy the tent that we were under at the farmer's market. You know, so, I know all like, about that life, trust yeah. me. Yeah, um, I feel like finance is really, it's really a given, but not for everybody. And Some so you guys just, bootstrap though, like you use money that you made from work and. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think we had a little bit of money and savings that I had, yeah. like before we got married, I'm like, let's just use this, I guess. Screw getting a house, <laughs> you know? We'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, just wing right, it. <laughs> right, we'll just, we'll just wing it. But honestly, I think we started on only like 600 bucks. I mean, I, th that's, I think you had more than Rochelle yeah, and I had. Yeah, when we started. seriously. Yeah. And, and it all adds up. Like all the like state stuff you have to go through, health department. Oh my God. I mean, the, it's the, just the like fees. You don't and know. The and then like tables and tents and Whatever else cups you have and cups stickers, and, you know, and, it's, just, it's a lot. And trying to look yeah. like halfway classy when exactly, you do it. Exactly, exactly. Rochelle and I just put the hood way. We're like, whatever, our food's good. But yeah, but this hey, is as good as we could get, man, for now. If people like your product, like, who cares? You know, I mean, in the beginning, it's like, make sure you have some good product. And <laughs> I think, yeah, we got a little overwhelmed. But I think that was the hardest part because. When it came to ideas and everything, it was all there. It just kind of was like downloaded into my brain, you know, yeah. like instantly. And then that's why it just all happened so fast. We just were like, all right, we know what we want. We know how we're going to get there, but like, let's just start. And, oh, shoot, we need money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. Where, where did that shit come from? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. That It'll come, you know. It what made up. you pull the trigger? Um... Well, what made me pull the trigger was when I saw, I started like researching it, who else was doing matcha. Like, is matcha actually a thing here? Oh, it's a thing. Yeah, but I was so naive. Like, I had no idea. I'm just this you girl. You naive. Yeah, right. I'm just this girl in Boise <laughs> that is like, lives in this small town and was like, what? It's, it's matcha? It's, people are doing it? And then I saw like LA and New York. I mean, it's literally on like every corner. There's yeah. probably like, what maybe six plus matcha only shops not like not like shops that sell matcha but like yeah. specifically only matcha shops and once i saw that i was like okay so it's working like people are doing this yeah. because to me i'm thinking i don't drink anything else but matcha right now like it's my one caffeine yeah. thing i i can't drink anything else I mean, booze, of course, but, <laughs> well, but but like caffeine wise i mean wise, that's not split hairs <laughs> yeah but caffeine wise um this is all this is all you know this is all I drink. So anyway, it was really encouraging to see that other people were doing it. And then I thought, well, shit, you know, everything from down there comes up here eventually. So like, <laughs> along with the people, yeah, <laughs> along with the people, we love you guys. You're love helping, you, California. We're hel you're helping our economy. Please right. spend your money. Yeah, spend your money. We love you. <laughs> but as a creator, I'm like, I'm itching to start something. I want to start something so bad. And 
then there it was. Do you come from like a family of entrepreneurs or? I don't. Austin does. I think I have. I have parents that are really creative. I just don't think they ever had the opportunity to do so. Yeah. Um, or like didn't. I don't know. Maybe they thought they couldn't, or I don't. Know. But I know that I'm. I come from a creative family, so I think like with Austin and I's forces You're combined, y- yin and yang. <laughs> yeah, we we started because I was like, well, Austin, I really feel like we need to do this, you know. And well, and and people like Austin, it's like like Rochelle and I. It's like you have to have the crazy one. That's like you let's do. just do it, dude. Yeah, exactly. Let's just do it. Exactly. And they're like, what? Uh, I don't know about this. Have we thought this through? And I'm like, fuck it. What, what's the worst going to happen? I know, exactly. Like, seriously, we, we, there's got to be the crazy one. Of the, <laughs> there's got to be the crazy one. And he was like, okay, well, am I doing this with you? Or I'm like, I think you should, blah, blah, blah. You know, kind of like pushing him. Yeah. Like, all right, if, you, if this happens, like... If well, I mean, what's yours is mine, and exactly, what's mine is mine. Exactly. So. He's like, what a, you know, at some point... You might take the reins, but I'm only doing this as this. So we just laid it down, and then the next day, I think I went to the health department, and I got all my stuff, and I was like, yeah. oh, I'm finding a name, and I'm like, how did you find a name? Okay, this is really funny, because I literally was just sitting there. I think Netflix was on, and I'm just thinking You watching like, Netflix? I, don't I know. know. I've never heard that. <laughs> I know. It's horrible. Every night. Every night. Queer Eye right now. Oh, oh my oh God. Boy. It's so The new bad. one or the old one? No, the new one. I have not watched it. You know I don't Wait, there's watch. an old... Wait. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? Oh, no, no, no. It's literally just called Queer Eye. I know, because okay. it was yeah, the yeah, original yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, was... Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, it's the new one, and it's so good I just finished it. But anyway, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, but anyway, the name, we were just kind of like thinking, like, should we go with a pun, or should we go with... You do love your puns. Yeah, I do. Like, it's matcha, so funny. matcha has so many puns you can use, and... Um, I went through so many names, and I kept looking in, like, you know, the registry where you can see if anybody else has Yeah. Literally every name, I was like, oh, my God, I have all these good ideas, but everyone, so many people have already done it. Like, yeah. there's already businesses out there. There's an awesome business called Cha Cha Mantra that is, like, if you ever can look out for them, I mean, look out for them, they're so Cha Cha? Like your Cha Cha like Mantra? Cha Cha? Or, like, like, the dance? Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, right? Maybe, I was well, just curious. Maybe it's good. Double on the time. <laughs> But I seriously was so settled on cha cha matcha for some reason. You just love that. What is that? What is like wanda it. matcha or the cha cha yeah, matcha? Yeah, cha cha matcha. What is that? Was like not alliteration, is it? I don't know. Don't I don't ask know. Me. What is that I'm called? Not an English major. I'm, I'm not, not an either. anything major. I'm not either. I don't. I don't know. But anyway, somebody else had it. Whatever. It's great. But um, then it. You know, it was literally just a brainstorming session because I thought, well, I do you want a matcha? I want a matcha. Let's then, all get matcha. Then, <laughs> like, want a matcha? Want a matcha, I guess that's it. It it kind of, like, yeah, whatever, English, I don't get it. But yeah. it, like, kind of <laughs> rhymes? I don't know, what do you call I think, it? I think it's alliteration. <laughs> alliteration. Uh, it runs It runs off that. the tongue really well. That's all that really matters. It so. sounds cute. It was, it Therefore, was, it'll look cute. Yeah. It was really not, like, this, like, oh, moment, but it was just sitting down for, like, 20 minutes writing out names. <laughs> It's really, really embarrassing how fast this all came together because it was like. It's not embarrassing. That's right. Oh, fucking cares. Let's get That's kind of how I did it. Yeah. I was like, all right, well, I guess we're going to figure this shit out now. Yeah. And we, this, we're bulldogs. We're, yeah. we're go getters. We yeah, just get we're a little bit of pit bulls there. Yeah. It's like when we lock onto something, we don't really let it go very well. No. And that's when you know you need to do it. Yeah. Because it's when like, you just keep thinking about it. And it's just, just like, like <sighs> And I don't know about you, but like, do you, like you start something and then you have other things that you're gonna do. Like you just, oh. just stand there. Like this. You ain't know it. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that I do. It's like I'm already on project six. Yeah. It's like let's finish. Let's start this one first. Yeah, this and then maybe we'll, this, we'll do this and, then, and oh maybe we'll try to make money in between. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. <laughs> do we ever make money? Yeah. We'll figure it someday, out. Someday. I I sure someday. hope so. All of our dreams. <laughs> someday. We're gonna work so hard. We'll get there. But the problem is, is like once we get there, it's gonna be like, all right, what's next? Exactly. Which exactly. I totally know. Well, it's already happened to me. But yeah. it's like, so it's I start one thing, and then it's like, all right, let's get this going, and then it's like, oh, I gotta start this yeah. next thing. Yeah. Okay, made then it. Goes, now let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I get I'm it. such a squirrel. It's like squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the entrepreneur brain. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess it's a blessing and a curse. It's the creative brain too. I think it's yeah. like it's like all right, yeah. I have this one project. <gasps> What about this project? I, I know. Could do this project. Too. I know. 
It's awesome. It's so, really great. Where did you guys take the leap in deciding? Because now you do your own wholesale. You have mm -hmm. your own source. Yes. Yes, which is nice. How did that come about? How so, did you find them? What did that look like? Yeah. So, it, I mean, it just looked like I was looking around at where, I mean, there's only so many farms in Japan. And that's, I mean, where we wanted it from. It's really cheap to get it from China, but we didn't want to go that direction. But that's like not where it's really <laughs> yeah. from. But that's not where it's from. And also it's not really like kind. Um, you yeah, know. don't buy made in China. Yeah, don't buy made in China, guys. But um, but sometimes you got it. I get it. I get it. No judgment. Um, oh, I'm judging. <laughs> but when, it judgment like, when it comes to a food product that originates in Japan, it's probably good to get, get it, it in Japan. Japan. Yeah. yeah. So we looked at some of the factories. Country of origin, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. We looked at some of the factories and like what their companies were and um, got some samples. They're super cool about sending you anything you need. So we just got a bunch of samples and mixed them all up, laid them out, tried which one we liked. You know, tried them all. Picked you make it sound so easy. It kind of was. It was like <laughs> it was like black and white. It was like. With picking watch, I was like, okay, which one's the darkest and prettiest? Awesome. Let's eliminate the rest. Okay, now which one tastes Better. the way we want it to? Because I feel like it's kind of, I mean, it really depends yeah. on the person. But for us, we picked whatever we liked. And well, you picked right. Cause it's yeah, good. I think we picked it's really, really right, too. Because it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty gorgeous. We are oogling at it every day. Uh, and your packaging but, is really cute. Yes. Where did you get that? Austin designed that. He's like a wizard. I know, I know. Can you design mine? Right? Yeah, he can, <laughs> yeah. you guys. Anybody that wants it, just saying. Hit Austin up. He's real good at that. Well, I, I was like, okay, should I do this color bag, this color? I had a couple friends that were like, definitely do the black, you know. Definitely. Got, got some friends who like, you know, I got multiple opinions opinions which was nice and then opinions wanted right. something that looked cute like on a counter you know so the tins i was like the tins are super that'll cute. look cute on a counter you know if you're daily matcha you could put it in your purse and take it to work oh, so yeah yeah, yeah. i so, take the whole bag yeah. because you know how much matcha i drink yeah if you're drinking like <laughs> two servings a drink like Hillary, you definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I gotta keep my energy up, right? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Got a lot of shit going on. Yeah. And I drink it straight, by the way. I drink it like shaken in yeah. water over ice, no milk. Not a lot of ice. No, no, because I want, not I a want lot of more ice. of that good stuff. Yeah. But yeah. I know, I know what she wants. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she's my go to. Yeah. She, she's my dealer. <laughs> Your dealer. Your she dealer. Is. And now that she doesn't have a pop-up shop open, I have to make it myself. I know. Hey, we're around, man. We're around. So what? Winter. We, what, we were what's there coming? for winter. What's coming? So, what's coming? Where what's, we're going? Like, where, where are be? you doing farmer's market again? Are you? We're doing farmer's market again. And you're doing pop-up shops kind of throughout? Yeah, well. When the opportunity arises? Yeah, when the or? opportunity arises, like, we we have a couple people. You should be there on Friday, but. Yeah, I know. I know. We we have a couple of people that are that have been what we've been talking to about pop up opportunities. Um, but for now, like we're for sure just at the farmers market, which is not just a thing, but it, I mean it's a thing. It's a thing. It's for a you. lot of work. I mean anybody that's involved in the farmers market knows that that's a lot of work. So um, that's for now. And then there's events. Like we always are at events. Things pop up. Things are gonna happen. We're also gonna be at the Boise Flea Market, which I don't know if Where's anybody's that? gone there, but it's actually really cool. It's on State Street. You know, Lit and Co. Candles. Yes. It's it's right in front of them, and it pretty much just goes all the way down State, like three blocks, and it's just a flea market. It's awesome. When is that? And they're kind of going down into like other. When does that happen? It's so it's every second Sunday. Is of this the like month. a new thing? Um, I don't know how new it, I know they did it last year. I honestly don't know how many years they've done it, but I know last year was getting really big. They have a lot of vendors, which is cool, but yeah, it's a lot of like vintage stuff, handmade stuff. Love There's stuff. coffee there. There's matcha there. There's matcha there. You know, we, you've got it all. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
Anyway, it's really good. So it's you cool. do a lot of brand partnerships too, though. Yes. Which yes. is, I think, vital. Yeah. In my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Um, Did I see that there's going to be ice cream? Yeah. Somewhere else? Um, we're going to have a couple ice creams, just saying. But right now at Treeport, I don't yeah. know when this is coming out. Uh, it'll be probably out in like a week or two. But yeah, okay. But hey, at Shreveport they had <laughs> <laughs> um, a coconut ice cream, and I'm pretty sure. So spoon thumb ice cream. They, okay. Spoon spoon thumb ice cream. They're an awesome couple. They they did a matcha with our with our matcha. They did a matcha ice cream that had honey and coconut mm. in it. I know. And coconut flakes. But so good. Is it? But I'm pretty. There's sure. no dairy in it. No, because it's coconut milk. I'm a purist. I gotta have that dairy though, which yeah. I'm not supposed to eat. Yeah. So I guess maybe they shouldn't. Yeah, totally. Same. I think they wanted a non-dairy option. Well, a vegan option's always nice. Yeah, it's oh, yes, not the vegan. Honey. Yeah, it's not vegan. By the way, side yeah. note, vegan people. I don't get the honey. I know. Like, I'm no, not judging no, you. Not but, judging. No disrespect. But also, like, like bees like me. Bees I think, like like to make honey. I think it's when they're like being forced in a but thing. Who forces a bee? I don't know. That's like their instinct, right? You know what you should do? You and should like if have you eat a vegan. plants. If you eat plants, who pollinates the plants? You should you have a vegan on this. I should. Talk to them about that. Have them explain it. Yes, because then because maybe I think it would we all want to know. We all want to know. Especially business owners. Like, yes. I want to know. Oh, yeah, because there's like, for like our bakery and stuff, like, man, we can't even, yeah. we don't even call it vegan if there's honey in it. Well, and for, like, I can't. But I love the bees. Like, and I have, honey's a healthy option for, like, sweetening our matcha. Yes. And now I'm like, well, what do I do? I, I, we started offering maple syrup because I feel yeah, like that was. Yeah, we use that, too. But it, it but, but isn't that, also, like, harming the trees? But I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you're like. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have a vegan on. Yeah. Vegans, look out for this yeah. next one. Because we're going to have We're not judging on. you at all. We just We really just don't know. get it. We just don't We really want to know. Yeah. Because this ice cream is so good. Yeah. And now we there's, we offer tons of that, vegan options, which I mean we're yeah. happy to do because it's yeah. like a big thing. And a lot of my friends are vegan, but I'm like the bee thing, the honey thing. I just I don't. I'm, I'm I know. confused. Well, you know. Because I have like bee farmer friends that like they freaking love their bees. Like yeah. those are the little babies. Yeah, you take care of them. So I'm like, but if you love them, then as long as they're taken care of. Yeah. Maybe maybe there's a maybe there's, there's a like thing a, there. Like, yeah, like a moral as, line yeah. somewhere yeah. in between. Maybe. I mean, hopefully. I mean, I, mean I, I want my honey to come from somebody local who I want cares love, about. I love bees. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, yeah, that I, makes I get sense. that. I get Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure. We are going to get down to the bottom of this. I know. We will get down to the bottom of this honey thing, and it will be great. <laughs> We're figuring it out. <laughs> oh, anyway. Okay. So, yeah. farmers markets, brand partnerships. <laughs> yes. Events. Mm-hmm. And then what? And then are you going to be doing ma- more wholesaling? Yeah, yeah, we're we're just kind of rolling out every wholesale that we can that we can get that we. So I know if you are a coffee shop or a grocery store, Wana Matcha wholesales, uh, and it's we the do. best. We do, and it's local, which is really really cool. It's it so is cool. really cool. It's so cool. If you don't buy local. I don't know if I can buy you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, and it's it's you know, directly farm direct and then it's us, you know? It's yeah. super super simple, which is which is cool and people like people like local and Well yeah, and you guys are rad, so yeah. why not support rad people? Yeah. We just we just got um, flying in Boise, which is cool. That's really they cool. They are super cool and um, they they made it look so cool. They like did a whole, they're doing latte art with it. I mean it's like Yeah. They're making it look cool. You're going to have to start handing out those cute stencils that you use. I know, To the right? coffee shops. I know, right? Yeah. I don't know. That might just be our thing. And if oh. they want to do that, they can do it. But I feel Maybe like that's like, like if they do a bulk purchase. Yeah, right. Like if you're going through like 20 bags a yeah. week. Yeah, here. Take, you can do you can this too. Or you sell like a little bag that has one on it. Like a goodie yeah, bag. Yeah, cute. On your website. Oh, cute. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like if you buy a bundle, you get like your choice of you stencil. You get your choice of stencil. Or it's so seasonal. Cute. You can only get certain sten- stencils during certain seasons. Yeah, because that, because And then that. it's a stencil collection. And mm-hmm. if you're not really want a matcha lover, then yeah. you don't have all the stencils. Yeah. Seriously. I've just taken Which, by the way, those stencils, we, I mean. Shout out. Shout out, Sydney. You're the we'll, best. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll put her... Yeah. information somewhere yeah where she's can, the raddest she's the raddest and she just she just delivered yeah she just stencil. delivered a really cute one 
I was like, I need you to make stickers, please, because I don't have any. She'll just like throw matcha stickers and decals in with them. You like, can tell because it's just like she loves doing it. Yeah, I know. I'm Which, like, okay, I mean, well, if you're not doing something you love, then I don't know what you're doing. I know. I like, know. What's the point? What is the point? But yeah, I mean, that's that's what we're doing right now. And someday we'll have our own shop. Someday. And then people can get it from the people who started it, which is nice. Yes, it is nice. Yeah, and we've got hopes and dreams. So cute. Yeah, we've got hopes and dreams, and what we'll offer. It'll be fun. It'll be really cool. What's what happens after? After what? Matcha. After matcha. I mean, you said you have like ideas. Oh, I mean, totally different ideas. Like, I've got ideas for like books, kids' books. Oh, I was gonna say I think like, I think I should write a book, but that like will not be a kids' yeah, book. No, like random stuff. So, yeah, you would not. Write a kids book. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not write a kid's book. This is not G-rated. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd read your book, though. That's for oh, sure. You know you'd read Just not book. to my children. If I had children, I would yeah. not read it to them. You'd be like, this is Auntie Hillary. She's just a little weird. We yeah, won't read that. Yeah, yeah we, don't, we don't read her books. <laughs> not until we're just, 21. We just look at them. Yeah. Not even look at them. Maybe not even look at them. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, would it be like an autobiography or? I I mean, it would be fiction. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. fiction. <laughs> fiction. Quote. There would be some things changed for sure. Okay. But, I mean, by things, I mean names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just for the safety of others. By things, others. I mean everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one will have the same name just yeah. for safety's sake. It is a very small town for me, so. Is. They'd be like, wow, I remembered that. I was, <gasps> was that about me? That was about me! <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so books. Books. And then is Austin going to do designing for Yeah, Austin ever? loves marketing and, and designing. That's like his thing. I think he just wants to get better at it, always. So he just does that. Yeah. I mean, video production and... So do you have any bang. projection on when you will do matcha full-time? I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm because, over here like, commit, Ashley. Yeah, right? I know. It's hard because because I didn't think we'd be wholesaling till like, maybe another three years. So. I know. I'm already I, pitching the co-op on your behalf. I'm yeah, like, right? By the way. So, I don't, I don't know. It's like, well, um, I can't really say because I could say a certain time and it might be sooner. It might be later. I mean... We definitely want it. I think it's, I think full time would be like once we have a shop that's open like six or seven days a week or yeah. whatever, that would be the moment. Do you do a lot of online volume? We do out of Arizona, and that's because of my dad. <laughs> my dad is like like our ambassador for Arizona, which is funny. But no, not currently. Which we we just haven't been focusing on it, which I know we need to and. We will eventually. I think we've just been really focusing on local and like making sure that people here know about it and um, like our coffee shops know about it. And we, I don't know, we've just been educating our coffee shops more because we really want them to have an alternative caffeine. And I think um, everyone should carry your matcha. Which is yeah. The one thing I drink. So. Yeah, right. We do too. I always have meetings at coffee yeah. shops and I'm like, do you have matcha? And they're like, no. What am I? And if they do, it's like not good. Uh, it's not even matcha. It's like yeah. a. I've, I've gone to some coffee shops that it's have like matcha. sugar with yes. green stuff in it. Or like or like a powder that also has powdered milk in it. So it's like latte ready, and it's which just, is disgusting. It's really gross, you guys. Like just you know, no judgment. Just ask us. Like we'll tell you how to make it. Even like we're gonna yeah. help you out. We're here to save. Seriously, the I community. love matcha. <laughs> it is life. Uh, yeah, it is. Even life. the co-op has it for smoothies. Yeah, totally. Which I love. I know. But hey, co-op. Stick that in there. there. <laughs> it's the best. And we have matcha cookies. Yeah, oh man. Matcha Those gluten-free galaxy cookies. Mm. Your matcha snickerdoodles. They're, they're good. Rochelle's a wizard. Oh, I'm like fainting just thinking about them. Oh, I like the sugar ones. I really like the sugar ones because they have the but lemon really frosting. Sweet. Yeah, and they have the lemon frosting, which kind of helps that out. Yeah. But I'm more of a snickerdoodle person, so when you give that us those, explains I was a lot. like, I was like, all right. But, but just kidding. but the community likes both. It's hard. Because I know. They, they want both. <laughs> yeah, the community is also indecisive. <laughs> right. Yeah. But hey, community, 
We're definitely we gonna love have, you. Yeah, we by love the way. you. We love you. And we we're gonna you. have those at the farmers market because they're gonna go nuts. Yes, yes, they will. Not so. You know, I have a bakery case if you need to borrow one. Side note. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, we have that little one. Yeah, that's true. We have one of those too. But yeah, I mean, it's behind me. I don't know. Who's that? Hi, Troy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, my, our other guest is here, but you will see him later. <laughs> Yay, you will see and hear him. Yes, but right now he's, he's hiding. Yeah. So, okay, so wholesale yes. website, potentially prime location yes. in the very near future. Yes. We yeah. won't tell you about that yet. We won't, but... <laughs> but it's in the works. We're, our cheeks just like... Yeah, we're both murky. Went up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, anything yeah. else you would like to add? Other, I mean, what is no. it? What's your website? Oh, wannamachatea.com. It's that and easy. It's wonderful. And yeah. find them at not the, not, which farmer's market is it? So, we're not at the capital city farmer's market. You're we're at the at actual the farmer's. The Boise farmer's market. The actual farmer's market. Yeah. Sure, yes. <laughs> but like the farmers like sell Yeah, there's farmers there, which yes. is really cool. And um, it's on 10th and Grove, yeah. right? In that yeah. parking lot. In the giant parking lot that is like still up there for some reason. <laughs> right? It's like Somehow it's still lot. there. And, and what yeah. beer are you drinking? I am drinking, oh God, it's the sour. What, is, what was the oh, sour? I, I forgot. Oh, was it a whoopee something? Or? Whoopee doodle. Oh, sorry, Jake. It, we can't remember, but it's, Jake, she the loves name it. was really creative, and I'm just not. Hey, but she loves it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good, and I wish I wasn't talking as much because I just want to drink this beer. <laughs> well, cheers. Now you can drink it. Thanks, Lily. thanks everybody. Thanks Argos Productions and Lost Grill and Wanamacha. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs>